Yes, everyone, and welcome back to Food Review Club. You join Callum and myself today back at our one of our favourite little spots, Chibo Deli and Kitchen here in Bedford. This really is. Look, we let our feet do the talking. We're here all the time, and we love it. They've got wonderful ingredients, as you've already seen. Great people. There's a real magic about the place. It all seems to work in harmony. Um, and they've got like new specials every day. I'm thinking if we come here enough, Callum, do you think we could maybe do our own little collab with one day? Maybe. They don't know this yet, but... Little collab sandwich? Little collab sandwich. Ooh. But yeah, if you're going to look at their Instagram, every day they've got a new sandwich out, and it's like, that sort of inventiveness is bringing us back. Like, me and you always say, don't we? I'm like, God, have you seen this new sandwich from Jibo? Um, when you've got so much great ingredients in one place, you can really have some fun uh, with, with your produce. And that, that really shows from these guys, and I think more people should do that. You can keep... What's the word, Callum? Uh, spark in your menu, week in, week out, not just the same old boring stuff that everyone's had before. This is a prime example of that. I think they only sold sort of two or three different sandwiches daily. The rest is just what have we got, what can we do? Um, and without question, my favourite coffee I've ever had. Whoa! Have you ever had, had, here we go, have you ever had a better coffee than Chibo? I can't think of the top of my head, no. They, they do a latte, you're going to see, in a glass cup. He seems to it seems to arrive to you at the perfect temperature. You get one sugar with it, which just seems great. You just drink it. No fancy bullshit. Swan Lake written on the top, you know, like... Pfft. Anyway, if you're new here, like and subscribe for more. We're out in the, uh, the tour bus today, Callum. Mm -hmm. We're on our way to Swindon. Um, haven't been back to Swindon for a while. So I thought we'd stop here on the way. Why not? Just a little detour. Little detour. It's not really a detour, though, is it? I don't even know. I think Lel's working. Oh, I don't Lel. Know. Where's your bread from, Lel? Don't know, Mum. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going? Good. Good. Lel, you did a sandwich over there. Pepperoni pizza. Have you got that? Yeah, we got yeah, pepperoni pizza. Yeah. Look at that. What is it like? A, what is it like a chicken cutlet? Go on, what is it? I made meat. Did you make them? Did you make them? Is that yours? Yeah, I had it for dinner the other day. Just beautiful. Oh, the bread. It's just the bread. You, 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 you said, uh, you, you, you sound like a bloody owl. So you're, you love the sandwiches, don't you, Callum? Yes, the ham, shachitella and pesto is probably my favourite sandwich ever. Yeah, it doesn't get a lot better than that, Martin. No. I came here with my family. Did you? And, yeah, they what love What do they it. think? They were in love. It's just so good. Yeah, I Cookie dough. You're a fan of cookie dough? Oh, I love cookie dough. No. Oh. Very sweet. I love it. It's like, like heavy and sweet. I love cookie dough. I love cookie dough in a sa in a ice cream. I'm about to say it's good in ice cream. It's good in ice cream. It is good in ice cream. I just love it. See, what about uh, like mini spooky cakes? You not like them? Say again. Mini spooky cakes? You not like? They're like cookie dough. Good. Yeah. They're okay. Yeah, they're okay. I bet that. Yeah. It's sensational. I feel like we need to order a bit, it's just to cut into it. Got fresh knocky down there. As a, as a foodie, it's very rare we come to places like this where we've got such incredible ingredients, like proper, the real deal stuff. It's just, I just love it. I'll vibe with it. It's a, it's a, sorry. There's a scent in the air, like a boxing club, you know, like of, of work. I've said that before, but it's real true. You come in here, you just you feel it, like this work and passion in there. It's only a little, sort of a little, little spot in Bedford, but this is, this is one of the highest calibre of food we've, we've ever eaten. We keep coming back, and that, that does a lot of talking. Well, who's upset? What's the matter with that? I'm gonna have sugar today. Listen, I did get it right yeah. after all of that. Sorry, Jack. Enjoy, guys. Tony, your, your, your tenders are gonna be just a few more minutes. Yeah. Right, They're the best. They're not the best. Capturing the restaurant. What happened? Thank you. 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 Thank
Dimpo, I mean. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's Lel's fault. It's always Lel. Yeah. I imagine that's great for a coffee. Jesus Christ. Do you want to heat it up, yeah? Callum, do you want to heat it up? Nah, I'm okay. Thank you. Matt wants to heat it up. Oh, that's not cool, but that's it. Would you heat it up? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got it. You got to have some now, bro. Just have a bite here, just a little bite. It's what's that, 100, 175 calories per bite? This is the, it's like the marinara and the sauce that we make. So it's like, how many batches do you do a week? Two? Uh, yeah, two, yeah. Pass me a two. No bottle bought rubbish here, man. I don't think this is the... It's no the... sensation as well. It's the real stuff, man. This guy's a, this guy's a legit... So, uh, who comes up with the uh, specials every day? Yeah. You know. Yeah, come on. Um, what's, the, what's the thing here? Sorry. What's the thing with only having a couple of sandwiches each day? Is it just like... Oh, no, they're just two specials every day, aren't they? It's just the specials, yeah. yeah. Just the two. And then... Uh, but we change every single day. We'll never repeat. But it's we will make it again if somebody, if somebody comes in and asks for it. You know. Like this, like this, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, if I've got the stuff, we'll make it. It's not a problem. It's hell if you're on the road and we're not local because we always sit and oh my god. <laughs> but it's um. Yeah, well, look at that, Callum. Callum, I think I'd like you to go first. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. probably know what that is. What? Oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. How you getting on, bro? Oh. You good? That rage is cream as well. Is it good? It's good. That's the Pope's got a balcony. You, you didn't get the good oh, yeah. You need to get the middle. Okay. Well, actual bits of twigs in there. Twig, twix, how is it? Oh, so that's Twix, actually, actual Twix. Actual Twix bar inside it, in the middle. That's definitely a, uh, more than a few hundred calories, though. Just, it's just giving me like goosebumps. Like, you know, you get sugar up. Yeah. Uh, no, he's got his rice already. That's giving me like. I could eat a whole one of them. Yeah, going back to the coffee. You can eat the whole pie, bro. Yeah, that's what I meant. Oh, not a whole slice? <laughs> no, a whole pie. I'm paid to see that. <laughs> How many likes on this video, Callum, for you to eat a whole one of them? Thousand. Two thousand. Thousand. Thousand? Yeah. Lel, Callum said, if he gets a thousand likes, we don't get a lot of likes on our YouTube videos. If we get a thousand likes on this, he can reckon he can eat a whole... Be sick like 10 yeah, times. I don't think you would. It's too sweet. If it's melted like that, I think I'd drink it up. A thousand likes? Yeah. Might as well. Yeah, What's your um your coffee bro? That's your own roast, isn't it? Yeah, so they only do that roast for us. So like it's unique, you know. I don't think I've had a better one. I uh, love the coffee, yeah? No, yeah. Served in this little coffee cup like that. Yeah, like, no you know fancy you get... stupid mugs. Yeah, like lattes like... and cappuccinos, they're like small cups. Uh, like if you go in, that's what they have. Isn't that just us though? It's not fancy or gimmicky, it's just yeah. proper. As it is. There we go. Well, can you take this away from me now? You asked them to find out where the bread's from yet. <laughs> it only asks his mum. This is um, this is what happens when you come to a proper family run restaurant. Like you get to talk to people. You get to try and make uh, I urge you, watching this now, I urge you to get out into your community and find these spots. Some of these hidden gems, like this, are hiding in plain sight. If you didn't know any better, you'd drive past this place. You'd never come in. This is look. Look at that. So this is provolone. So you're gonna chuck that under the. So that I'll bake that now for about five to ten, and then boom, job done. Literally scoop up, put it in the bread. Put it in the bread. Yeah, it's not just any bread, though, is it? 
Suchi Arella. So the Italian break. Oh, well, look at that. Look. Already cut. So we always, we always good cleaning fluid in there, are you? <laughs> we always um, dishwasher. A little bit of olive oil. Anti back. Before it goes, there you go. Sanitizer. That'll cure you, that one. <laughs> <laughs> Or uh, Donald Trump said so. A little bit of olive oil. Let's start a little bit of olive oil, yeah, just to give it that extra crisp. What's your favourite food? Oh, my favourite food? Meatballs. Why? Because that was made of meatballs. <laughs> <laughs> they need more salt, apparently. And then, what's the other one? Um, the uh, the brisket. The yeah, brisket. Brisket. Nice. brisket. Yeah, 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 it's lovely. You're from Italy? Yeah, I'm Italian. Where about? Close to Venice. Oh, wow. It's a nice place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For fried fish as well. <laughs> we have the best fried fish. Yeah, yeah. Pesce fritto. We went to uh, Rome. It's beautiful. Roma, place. yeah. Amazing. Roma, they have salt in bocca. Yeah. Yeah. But surely you don't have the best fish in the mud. Umare, yeah. Venice, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh my. Goodness. It's not Italian. No, no. You know it's all on water, yeah. You know. Oh you my God, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's sinking. You know what he's thinking of? He's thinking, I have a gem there. He's thinking of the Amalfi. You're thinking of Sorrento. I know you. Are. He's trying to bag you out for not having the best. Always. He doesn't even know. <laughs> Leo, have you been to Italy before? What? You went to Italy. Yeah, no, 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 Counteracts the the spice from the pepperoni. It's really smooth. It just sort of balances out the whole the whole flavour of the dish. Where do you get your ingredients from? What well, like everything looks so fresh and incredible. Oh, so so all our ingredients come from a local company called AB Fruits. Yeah. Um, they they've been supplying us since the start. AB, that's who. Uh, that's the, the family owned that as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is uh, this is theirs. So this is their little their little passion. You know, this is where they've. They've gone, the direction they've gone. Oh, there you go. And uh, it reflects, I knew that. for us, you know, I get to use the best ingredients from Italy to make Italian food. Look at that, bro. Wow. I just walked in with an Instagram picture. We're walking out with the real thing. Well, look. It's nothing better than stopping in there for a chit chat, a catch up, and. Sandwich. Sandwich, as Callum would call it. Can you feel the. Can you hear that? Oh. Anyway, let's dive in. You fancy a pizza? Yeah. Or a sandwich? There you go. Are we ready? <laughs> oh, it's got a big waft of smell there. Oh. <laughs> the chicken is banging. That nonna sauce. It smells incredible. It's just. And this is why we keep coming back. I'm going to say it one more time for the people in the back of the room. Chivo, Deli and Kitchen here in Bedford. We're not getting any special treatment. You just turn up, order, as you can see. This is just what they do. It's just what they do. You're gonna get exactly the same as what we do. It's fairly, it's fairly unknown. It's not queuing out the door. You're not gonna be stuck in a traffic jam, trying to get your food till sell out at seven o'clock. It's a lunchtime spot in Bedford. So if you're out on your travels around the UK, come put me to the test. Bread, flavours, combinations, love, magic, and passion all working in perfect harmony for us, the customer, the foodie, and the end user. I've really enjoyed today's video, meeting the team a bit more, just being a bit more relaxed. If you enjoyed this video, and remember, 1,000 likes on this video, and Callum is gonna eat an entire Twix cookie dough pie. And if you want to do a food challenge, there is a pancake challenge here as well.
Do you think you can do it? I'm gonna do it eventually. No one's done it yet. No one's done it. It's about that big. Was it 500 quid if you win? I think you could hold loads of that. On that note, everyone, thanks for joining us. If you've enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. Follow us if you haven't already. Please get in here. The FRC family is vast, wide, and all the more sexier for you being in it. Thanks for watching, everyone. And that, that's a review. See us, Big Daddy B, pugs and Matt on a mission to find who's got the fastest, freshest food in the kitchen. Different places, different flavors, try different things. Who's the ruler of ribs? Where's the winner of wings? Who's the king of kebabs? Where's the boss of the burger?